Let me just clean up a little bit. I'm just going to select the beam features and I will just jump down to the quick views and use selected objects off. Makes the structure a little cleaner. Now I've moved my UCS to the top of the um, platform. I'm going to invoke the power pack for Gray Tech. I will put on a platform cover. So I will use the option of beams. I'll select my supporting beams all around. Zoom into my work. Curve beam. And hit the enter key. I'm just going to select a point inside the supporting beams and I will split the cover by the beams, not by points. So go all around. And zoom into my work and split the cover. You can see that we have a cover on so we have a plate. I will go to put the additional contours. We have none. So let's concentrate on just putting a contour in. By selecting number of contours, let's say one, hit the enter key. We have a rectangular contour, as you can see, right here. And we'll just locate that contour. And I'll have a circular contour. And uh, vertical distance, let's put 36. See where that is. Okay, 48. Okay, horizontal distance. 48 again, 60, okay, and the radius I will put at uh, 24, 2 feet, so that's speaking up. We're going to jump up to the edge contours. So here we have edge contours none. We can have rectangular. As you can see, the edge contours are placed all around, or we can have um, round. And this is in the in the scenario where you have railings. So we have rectangular edge contours. I'm just going to remove them and just put none. So there we have a cover. Now we're going to look at, just jump down to the gratings plate border. So what this does is put a border around the plates and any interior cutout. So just close this out and again that's the platform cover gap category rather the platform cover category we're looking at and subcategory tool set gradings plate border so take take a look at the selection order profiles and description creates borders made from plates or profile on the edge of a plate grading check a plate and around any existing openings. So I'm going to select that. Advanced still is asking me to select the object, which is the plate. Click Enter. And uh, let's take a look at some of the options we have. So, I can go to General. And we have plates 
for the exterior. So let's zoom in. So you can see we have plates for the exterior profile. However, there isn't any for the interior. Well, we can just select either a plate or a profile. In this scenario, we'll select a plate. So you can see that the plate has been created. So we can add a border frame for the outside and the inside. Um, here the contour index, we have one. So if you, in the event you had two cutouts, well, of course, you'd go and uh, follow the contour of the second. Let's jump down to outside. So here we can, this is where we can modify the outside plate. Okay, so you can modify the thickness with left offset, right offset, vertical offset, and horizontal offset. You can have it continuous, or you can remove it. Now the corner geometry, how do you want to display it in the corner? So what they're referring to is this element here. You can see it's, it's uh, mitered around the edge of this plate, the platform plate. Again, you can have overlapping, which will give you a different scenario. You can reverse the overlapping by selecting the check mark. And you can have none, which will give you a little um, tearing right there. So I'll put it back to miter. Again, the inside of the geometry it's the same workflow. We have one contour. You can have same for all. You can remove it, have continuous, and play out the thickness with left offset, right offset, vertical offset, and horizontal. So the corner geometry, again, you can go and play around with. You can have all of the corners identical. So what you apply to one is going to go all the way around. And again, we have it mitered and overlapping. So once that's done and once that's defined, you can go and uh, define your welds. The weld size, 316, what type of weld it is, just use a slider. And if you need more options, select the all and the location. Is it going to be done at site or in the shop? So that's a brief overview of how to use the, um, let's expand, the grading plate border with the Graytech Power Pack 2020.